吗 ？That is so cool. <笑> How's it going, guys? And welcome back to the Hacks Pod. Now, the Apple event WWDC took place yesterday, and boy, was that a joy to watch! Now, iOS 11 was revealed, so today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to install iOS 11 beta on your device without a developer's account, completely free. All right, so there are a ton of awesome and new features, some that are hidden that Apple didn't talk about. Oh, and did I mention you guys do not need a computer to install iOS 11 without a developer's account? It's super simple. All you need is your device. That's it. And what you want to do then is open up your browser, click on the link that'll be down below inside the description, and you want this to open up inside Safari. If it doesn't open up inside Safari but opens inside YouTube, tap on the Safari icon that'll be somewhere over here. And once you do, you open up in Safari. So simple as that. Here it is. Now I will put maybe multiple links down below in the description in case one goes down, and it'll be the same steps. Just open in Safari. And anyways, what you want to do is scroll down and look for where it says iOS downloads. We also got Watch OS. And the TVOS downloads right there too. So if you want those, you got those as well. So anyways, just tap on download under iOS, that blue button, and this will pop up. Simply select your device, of course, iPhone, and watch this. There you go. We got the beta software profile. Tap on install and type in your passcode if you do have one. Okay, and now it'll bring this right here. These are basically the terms of agreement. So there you go. You can read that if you want to. Just tap on install in the top right. Install again. And tap on restart. So there you go. Your device will restart, and you will start installing iOS 11. It has never been easier than this, guys. Before you would need a computer, and you had to plug it in. You had to download the iOS 11 IPSW. But now all you need is your device, and just install that profile. Simple as that, guys. So awesome. Okay, so now we are on lock screen. Go ahead and unlock your device real quick, and we are in. So there you go. Okay, let's say okay to that. And what you want to do now is tap on settings, go to general, go to software update, and here you guys will now see iOS 11 developer beta. So simply just tap on download and install at the bottom. Tap your password again. Now we are downloading and installing iOS 11. So am I asking that it needs to temporarily remove some apps before continuing, so it could have space for iOS 11 for it to download and install, and then it will put it back on your device. So if that pops up, simply hit the continue button, and there we have it. It's going to take about four minutes. To install iOS 11 beta. All right, so once it's done downloading, it might look like it's stuck, but it's not. Just go to wait. It took about three more minutes, and once it's done, you'll be brought to your lock screen again. Type in your passcode, but for some reason, this is popping up for me. So just tap on install now in the software update for iOS 11. Install now. I need to get them to my device. Come on. Okay, hold on. Let me try. Hmm. Okay, so I got an error. Could not install, so I rebooted my device. I held down my power button. Turn it off and turn it back on, and now it's back on. So if it does, this does not pop up. Go back to settings, general software update, and tap on install now. But it's popping up for me. So crossing our fingers, let's go and hope this works. So tap on install now, and there you go. Now it's verifying the update. Okay, fingers crossed, guys. Hope this works because some people have been having issues, and if that's a fix, that's a very simple fix. Just turning off your device, turning it back on, going back to settings, general software update, and tapping on install from there. So. It's gonna wait. All right, so the verifying update phase took about like five minutes. Actually, I thought it was frozen for a second, but it wasn't. After those five minutes, my device rebooted, and now we are at this installation screen. So it's gonna wait for this now. I guess these servers are hella packed. Oh my gosh, guys! My device just rebooted, and here we are at the welcome screen. So I'm gonna go to unlock and or press the home button now. And there we are, a pass. You guys can see it already looks different, more elegant. Okay, there we go. Update complete. Come on, camera, focus. Okay, there we go. Okay, let's hit continue, and let's go and type in our Apple ID. Apple ID security. Apple now uses two-factor factor authentication. I'm gonna go ahead and skip this. I'm gonna choose other options. I don't want that. I'm gonna hit don't upgrade. You guys can do that if you want to, but I'm gonna hit cancel on that basically. Okay, I'm so excited, guys. Apple Pay, and this is so cool. And let's go tap on next. And that's gonna add a card later, so I'm just gonna hit set up later in wallet, iPhone analytics. So I guess let's say continue, and iCloud analytics. So I'm gonna hit don't share, uh, don't share, get started, and there you go. Welcome to iPhone. So here we are, guys. iOS 11. First thing I want to do is check out the new wallpaper. So settings. Whoa, whoa, what the heck happened? The animation was so weird. Okay, anyways, let's go to wallpaper, and. Now let's go to choose wallpaper. Let's see what we have right here because I want to change it to the iOS 11 wallpaper. So I guess we're gonna do this one right here. That's the main one. Wow. Okay, so this looks beautiful. X out of there. 
and there we are oh my gosh guys i was not a huge fan of ios 10 but i think i will be for ios 11 i didn't like the dual control center here's the updated one so you don't have two pages you only have one page and you have so much over here guys i love the way they laid it out so tap or force touch on it and there you go now you could go and increase and decrease like that too or you can just do it from here, but you just get more features if he's going in 3D touch on it. Oh my god, look at all this stuff right here. So if you're going to tap on, let's say, uh, Bluetooth, it will turn on Bluetooth. But if you're going to force touch, wow, we get all these controls right there. And again, same thing for the music. You get the album art cover and the whole song name and all that good stuff. So good job, Apple. And notification center, look how fluid it is. It's so, like, transparent. Oh my god, I love how that feels. It brings you to, like, your lock screen, kind of. Wow, this is exciting stuff. Let's go to use up Siri right now. Siri. Just recycling my Max aluminum. Siri, how do you say hello, how are you in Chinese? Hi, 你好吗? That is so cool. <laughs> how do you say I love Apple in French? Oh, all right. So there you have, guys. There are a few very, very cool hidden features that I don't know why Apple didn't mention at WWDC. So I'm going to talk about those in my next video. So stay tuned. Enjoy iOS 11 and peace out. Oh, 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 oh,